Hey guys, welcome back to the Plastic Pony Hobbyist. It is 11 days until Briar Fest. Yep. Anyways, so today I already went, had some brunch with family, and we also went to Starbucks of all places. I already drank that, sorry. I don't have a wonderful like picture of my drink, whatever. And we also stopped by the high school to show it off. I don't know. We do that. Whatever. And then afterwards, we went to Rite Aid and CVS. We had to pick up some things from CVS, and then we went to Rite Aid because I need to re-dye my hair. I need to re-dye my hair for Briar Fest. And this time I'm doing something completely different. I have never lightened my hair, never bleached my hair, never put blonde dye in my hair, whatever. I've never done anything to make my hair lighter than it naturally is. I've just put color on top of my natural hair color. I've used all kinds of colors. I've used blue, red, purple, uh, pink, pretty much it. I mostly use like pinks and blues um, just because I think they look nice in my hair and also I don't want to go the whole green and yellow route. So I have some stuff. Uh, we are not coloring my hair today. We're doing that tomorrow because my dad wants to get some other colors as well. I'm giving him permission to just color my hair. Anyways, we have a lightener. Like I said, I've never lightened my hair before, but I hope this doesn't turn out bad. I think it'll be fine. Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna take it out of the box. Yes, I do keep an X-Acto knife with me at all times. So this is just, oh, this is just a tube of color. It looked more like a bottle in the package. Like you can see, it kind of looks like a bottle in there. It's just a tube of color. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know what to expect, but I'm probably just gonna go and lighten my hair now. I'm gonna put a little bit of dry shampoo in it, a little greasy, but we will have to see. So next time you see me, we'll probably lighten hair. I also might film me working on my costume for Pepto and maybe some tack if I even get to that. You'll just see me when you see me.
you thinking? Leave that on a record spinning. You feel the rhythm going. Legs and good time to lay low. Your knees are bending, so it's time to get up and let go. Hey, um, how's it going? Can see your body moving. Sound is ringing. They don't know what they're missing. Legs and good time to lay low. Your knees are bending, so it's time to get up and let go. Hey, gotta miss and steady. Put down your brick, you ready? It's hot when things get messy. Keep pushing, you know your head has no right to say no. Tonight it's ready, set, go. Baby, can you move around the rhythm so we can't get? I managed to lighten my hair. Well, it's not lightened that much. Uh, it's mostly just because one box of lightener is not enough for somebody who has thick, decently long hair. It's fine. We're getting more lightener tomorrow and we're going to do another round. Just hopefully lighten it enough that we can dye it. It is 9.47 p.m. It's night. And I just finished all of my tack that I have to do. So I'll just go ahead and show them to you. I managed to film two of them. The last one I didn't get filmed, but that's okay. So here's the halter. This is probably as best as I can get it. You can see the plates are like pretty plain. They're actually engraving plates, I think. So you could engrave the name on the plates. My camera will focus, whatever. And instead of just keeping the chain attached to the lead rope and attaching the lead rope onto the horse, I took the chain off the clasp and I took it over the nose and up here. Here's the bridle. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good picture of plates, but the plates are really pretty. There's like a simple Western design. They're not really floral, not really abstract or anything. They're just like simple geometric shapes. A little bit of florals on them. And these are just plain circles pretty much. Yeah, here is the bridle. Again, cast bits instead of etched bits. I can't even remember if they make etched bits for the English sets. That's pretty much all I've done today. I actually go need to go do some schoolwork right now after I edit this video. Anyways, I saw that the prices have been posted. Actually, I'm gonna check the app on my phone while I'm saying this because I'm not sure if the prices have been posted in the app yet. It looks like there isn't because I'm, ju I'm just looking at New Market right now and it doesn't look like there's prices. Unfortunately, Dead Heat is a gambler's choice and I'm like, I want both but now I can't afford both and plus I don't really have enough space in my special run tickets to get both I wanted both because I plan to get a dark horse surprise and then selling it on eBay to um just get some more money to pay off my post briar fest debt that I'm pretty sure everybody goes through pretty sure everyone goes through that just after briar fest you're like oh I have no money let me sell some stuff that I just bought at briar fest <laughs> 
so tomorrow what do I plan to do? Um, I plan to get my budget done because I always have to do a budget. Normally I'm a hundred dollars short at least, but <laughs> my parents will help me cover that and then I pay them back later on. Maybe I'll be able to fix my binder because it's a little messed up uh, since I completely switched around classes and stuff. I have to fix my binder. I have to figure out a way to get a divider for this binder to magically appear. I don't know. I don't have another divider, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I think I'm probably gonna end this video here. That This was Countdown to Briar Fest, 11 days until Briar Fest. Dang it, it's 11 days. Ah! Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the next Countdown to Briar Fest video. Don't forget to comment any suggestions for Countdown to Briar Fest, any series you want to see, any questions you have about the glorious model horse community, and don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep collecting. Bye!